Here is how to use Speechify. Once you've made sure your app is updated to the newest version, go ahead and open it up. The first way to convert your text into audio is through scanning a picture. You have the option to scan one page or two pages at a time. Just hover the camera over each page and it will snap a photo automatically. Once you're done scanning all of your pages, you can crop out any footers or headers that are not needed. You can apply the crop to as many pages as you'd like. You also have the option to add more photos. Crop weirdly sized texts. And if you're scanning textbooks, you can even crop the columns to fit. You have more options on the bottom right to rename, retake photos, delete pages, or reset your edits. You can skip through the pictures to make sure everything is cropped properly. Then click Save and Listen. When listening to text on Speechify, you can control the speed on the bottom right to boost productivity and choose from a variety of human sounding voices on the bottom left. Click up here to change the text from scan to reader form. And click here to get an AI summary. It turned my two page file into one paragraph. On the top right, you will have a variety of options such as renaming your file. You also have the option to download your files so you can listen to it even when you're offline or in airplane mode. You can also summarize your document through here and even skip content that is in headers, footers, parentheses, and so on. If you turn your ambient sound on, you can listen to music in the background of your text being read out loud. Here, you can edit the text however you'd like. And lastly, you can change the appearance from light to dark, make the text as big or small as you'd like, and choose your favorite font. The next way to convert your text into audio is through copying and pasting text. Simply copy the text you'd like to listen to and click paste. Next, you can paste a website link by going to the website that you'd like to listen to and paste the link in the box. Another way of doing this is by clicking the up arrow through the Safari app and then click Speechify. If Speechify doesn't show up, scroll to the right and click more. You should be able to see it there. Other options of converting text to audio include uploading files from your computer, signing into your Kindle, or even choosing documents from your Google Drive. Finally, you can upload any file through your iCloud files or import from your photos, Dropbox, and more. Speechify also gives you the option to browse and listen to a variety of websites through the application. If you go to your files, you can create a new folder by clicking on this top right button and you can add files to it by clicking on the three little dots and move to folder. You can also select and move multiple files at once by clicking select multiple. If you ever have any questions or issues, you can contact support through the support button on the top right. And if you're looking for a specific file, you can always search for it by typing the name of the file in the search bar. Through the For You section, you can access more support, manage your subscription, and invite a friend. You can also watch a variety of tutorials and read through frequently asked questions. And don't forget to check out your stats.